Okay. Journal. Du -du -du. Really? We didn't think we needed to add a journal entry when Imowen was captured? Important events. Oh, here we go. Just a quick recap from last stream. It was dramatic. <laughs> we escaped Irenicus's lair, but no sooner had we done so than Imowen and Irenicus were taken captive by an organization called the Cowled Wizards. Ooh. I must find a way to discover where they went, if not in this area, then somewhere else in Athkatla. Athkatla? Or Athkatla? Or Athkatla? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. What is it? Ooh, we've got level ups! Level up! Oh, okay. That's it. She, we have to make sure that she has all her spells. Did she gain any slots? Oh, there we go! Ooh, miscast magic is pretty good. But Dispel is also really good. <gasps> Call Lightning must be cast outside. Ooh. I kind of want to do that. Hopefully we'll be doing some fighting outside at some point. I'm, I really want to use that spell. I feel like we just never had a chance to use it last time. Or in the, in the first game. If we got captured, yes! I know! I'm I'm still sketched out too, Bula. I'm so excited to see what's going on. There's so many questions that I have for the for the villain guy, Irenicus. An art gallery builder, Tabby? Whoa! That's so cool. What? I love that. Ooh, wow. There are a lot of spells here. So we've got Cure Serious Wounds learned already. Cause Serious Wounds. Causes damage. Whoa! She only has two rounds to make the attack. Okay, that's interesting. Call Woodland Beings? Someone's a nymph? Whoa! Oh dang, mass cure? Let's try that. I want a woodland being to come to our aid. I feel like that's just like the headcanon of my life. Mince doesn't have spells, right? Wait, what? He has spells? He can cure light wounds? What? Oh yeah, I guess he's a ranger, huh? I haven't played with Minsk that much. How's it supposed to be a tavern tree of my Tony? <laughs> ha. I've got drinks. Oh, that's very bubbly. Woo. Yeah, mass cure sounds amazing. Rangers get spells. A nymph. <laughs> Ooh, good one. Handful of nature based spells. Awesome. Bless. Raises the morale of friendly creatures by one. Ooh, I like that. Let's do bless. Bless you. Okay, cool. Ooh, we've got lots of stuff to sell. Of bow to use. Short bow. Okay. Oh, Imowen took all the stuff she had. What it? Oh, shoot. I don't even remember what I had given her. Hopefully, nothing too good. <laughs> we gotta get Imowen right away because she has her stuff. This is not a drill. <laughs> oh, good. I saved a few scrolls here. And we managed to keep the acorns. Whew. Okay. And oh, good thing I had Jahira keep all of the jewels. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Okay, here are some arrows for you, Yoshimo. Take them, please. Use them well. I believe in you. What is this? Oh yeah, Meta Spell Influence Amulet. Can memorize one extra second level wizard spell. Hadn't we put that on Imowen? Did she conveniently like throw it to Amira right before she was captured? <laughs> Most likely. Okay, we'll keep that for the next wizard we encounter. Hopefully. Hopefully we get another wizard. They tend to multi-class accidentally. Wait. <laughs> May oh, Tabby, we should check that. Oh, it gives you her layer. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, good. Okay. Bim Bam, hello! And Canada Guy, hello! How are you doing? Oh my god, perfect. Yeah, because I was like, hang on! This this amulet was on Imowen! <laughs> Thank goodness she was a quick thinker and threw all of her stuff at us before she was, you know, kidnapped or arrested. <laughs> Jory and Tabith! Oh my gosh. You gotta strip them, though. You gotta strip them before the joining. <laughs> oh god. Okay. <clears throat> Let's, uh... This guy's giving me like Zeppelin vibes. Oops! Oh, oh gosh, what did I do? I clicked something. I'm trying to control my characters like I'm in Stardew. I think I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't need that. Okay. Yes? Let's get out of here. It will be done. Who are you? Lady Beth and Lair. Hello? Where the bleeding blazes did you come from? I can't hardly believe the bleeding mage went crazy, he did. As if a guild war in Athcatla wasn't enough. I feel like we had this conversation last time. What do you mean by a guild war? It's one of the reasons why smart folks stay indoors at night. Though none of the guards will say one thing or another about it. Bad for the image of the city. I know because I'm close to the streets. There's a war between the thieves and the new guild. Don't know much, but lots of people have gone missing. Not much other to say about that. Need anything else? <laughs> Not Stardew unless you're farming for XP. Oh my goodness. I know, destruction. Just terrible. <laughs> These are the games that solidified your love of gaming! Oh my gosh, Cat Dad! Welcome into the tavern. How are you doing? That's so cool to hear. I'm stoked to be playing these games. I love them. Yeah, I'm also curious. Like, I think for a lot of you, I, I know which games you kind of like made you fall in love with video gaming, but tell me. I want to know. Some people, for some of you, it's this game. For some of you, it's KOTOR. For some of you, yeah, I don't even know. Tell me, tell me. I want to know what game made you fall in love with video gaming. If you are in love with video gaming, that is. I think for me, it was Morrowind. I think that was the first game where I was like, whoa, this is special. And like, I can like walk around in this world and like interact with it. Like, whoa, that's so like that, that, that is the thing that really made me intrigued by video games is the immersiveness of like a first person RPG. I don't know if I would have found DA and Emmy otherwise. Yeah. You're doing well. Okay, good. Glad to hear it. Old Sierra games. Police quest, space quest, King's quest. Oh cool! Gets us racking chair and cane. Stop, Wolf. Always have been. In early 30s my dad's still a PC gamer. You've been into it as long as possible. That's so great, Tabby. I want to know, can you show me? I want to know about these games like PG. <laughs> Good one, Pewter. Quest for glory. Nice. Space. Oh, you love it too? You completed Space Quest 4 on stream. Amazing, Tempia. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to look into these games. Where's my pen? Where's my pen? Okay, there it is. <laughs> okay. 
What do you call them? Old Sierra games. Like, like the quest games. Probably SSI's gold box games, along with Sierra's adventure games and Wing Commander. Nice, Stormcrow! I never played Dungeon Hack, no. I picked up on it. Sometimes I get the songs and sometimes I don't. If it's Disney, I'll probably get it. <laughs> oh, Monkey Island! I remember you talking about that, LH. Yeah. Pool of Radiance was something you watched your brother play. And Final Fantasy, the- oh my gosh, the original Final Fantasy. That's amazing! For you too, Canada guy? Nice! Oh my gosh, awesome. Point and click adventure games, yeah! Oh my gosh. Brutal? Oh, thanks for that, Daniel! Games have always been in your life. The first game I truly got addicted was The Sims! Yes! You'd played Fable, yeah. I can choose and change the story. Yes. That's really where I was like, oh, dang. Like, because I'd played games before Morrowind, but that's the one where I really got hooked and was like, okay, this is like immersive storytelling and I can like choose my own destiny. Like, what? That's so cool. That's awesome, Bula. Wing Commander. That's amazing. Thanks for sharing. I love hearing people's like gaming origin stories. The SSI games are all on sale? Hang on, I'm gonna write that down. I love a good sale. Y'all know me. <laughs> I like never buy games unless they're on sale. <laughs> I might make an exception for Mass Effect to remaster. <laughs> Zork and Amazon, nice! Oh yeah. You too, Storm Crow, things like Zork. Pokemon Ruby was your first video game, Bears? Nice! I loved the old Pokemon games. Like, I, I would only be able to play them with my friends because I was never allowed to, like... I don't know, we didn't really have... We had a PC and then an Xbox, but those were the only, like, gaming devices we had. And couldn't play Pokemon on those. They're really hard. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, Arcarnia of Time. Oh, Carnia of Time. Is that how you say it? Nice, Tabby. Mist and Riven! Yes! I definitely played Riven a bit, but never Mist. Uh, I don't know why. We didn't have Mist, but we had Riven on our PC. Age of Empires! What? Wait, are they- they're on sale on GOG? I'm just gonna write that down, too. That's exciting, bald man. You don't remember it? Yeah. Yes, your cats are missed in a ribbon. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Tabby, totally. I don't know what those are, Wolf. That's awesome, though. Yeah, what was the first game I played? Might have been Might and Magic. Or Age of Empires, the original one. Older siblings were the original streamers! Totally! <laughs> uh, Mist Baldur's Gate, Planescape Torment, Icewind Dale- Oh, nice! Totally. Stronghold. Watch people destroy it. Oh my gosh! Wait, that sounds like my nightmare game. <laughs> Destroying my beautiful creation. Excuse me, I've got to be going. Well, take care of yourself then. A good business to you. What is it? Okay, we need to go Speed. to Certainly. Jahira had mentioned there's a tavern or something where we might find answers. For like other adventuring folk. The adventurer mart. That sounds like our kind of place. Step right up, step right up! Come, enter the Adventurer Mart. Behind me, you'll find all the equipment any adventurer needs. What do they sell? Weapons, both magical and plain. Stolen armor from the lairs of dragons. Squirrels of sorcery. Anything you need, we have. Okay, we're going in. That sounds like perfect. Are you trying anything stupid? I'm watching you. Without doubt. We won't. 
I'm just an innocent adventurer trying to sell my wares. At your service. Greetings to you, good sir. I trust all is well. It is well, well enough, Miss Shahira. You'll not bring Harper trouble to my doorstep, good lady. Might I remind you that my days of involvement with your kin are long over? I'm not here in an official capacity, suspicious one. There's no need to worry. With your kin, there always need, there always be a need to worry. But I should mind my manners. Please excuse me. Ribald Barterman, at your service. <laughs> Barterman. <laughs> My adventure mart is the finest shopping in all Faerun. Widest selection, lowest prices, and nary a fancy illustration. Just the goods. Bare and plain. Oh my gosh, we can say so many things to this person. Um... What a dumb. But you'd have to pay me to haul every anything out of here. Ah, uh, yes, there are some items we're interested in. Music to my ears. There's a customer born every minute and a rube soon after. What'll it be for you today? Haha, -ha, we made it. We can sell our stuff. Also, arcade games. Yes, totally. Super Mario World or Riven or Age of Empires. Nice. Pac Man. Oh my gosh. Yeah, totally, Bula. VT! How are you doing? A merchant named Barter Man, I know, right? Oh. oh my gosh. Thank you for asking, Canada guy. I do not want to know anything. I'm probably going to miss quests. That's just kind of the type of playthrough I'm going to do now. Uh, for my first playthrough, I'm going to probably make mistakes and miss things, but... Um, yeah, I think the next time I play this, I'm going to try to do more of a 100% run. But yes, I do not want to know. But thank you. Okay. Let's sell our stuff. Oh my gosh, we can actually select all the things first? What a concept. Wow. Can't remember what Ring of the Princess does. Let's keep it for now. I like the sound effects. It's very calming. I don't know. Swords, not words. Give us your gold. Give us your gold. Okay, no one can really wear those. Unless we get a mage or anything. Let's let's keep him for now. Um Okay. What do you have, sir? Barter man. Ooh, flail plus two. Ooh, a sling plus two? <gasps> yes. Is it worth it? I'm getting it. I did it. It's too late. Look at these staves. Oh, 22,000 gold for that staff? What's so special about it? Whoa. I don't, is it worth it, though? We'll probably find a lot of good stuff, too. Giant hair crossbow? What? Oh, so many fancy... The fanciness of the loot is just blowing my mind right now. <laughs> Wait, we can't afford it? Oh, did I did I click on things? Oh, whoops. I clicked on that by accident. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, we've spent all our gold that we just got, so let's uh, let's equip these things. Jahira, you better love me for giving you that sling plus two. That was pricey. I'm pretty pleased. Let's throw these on the ground. <laughs> We're just gonna litter in the uh, in the shop. It's okay. It's all good. All good. Oh, 
Oh, we can sell these eggs. Yes. We bet you and market the finest shopping in all of Faerun. Widest selection, lowest prices, and nary a fancy illustration. Just the goods, <laughs> bare and plain. Oh my gosh, I love that. Um. Oh. Okay, cool. What is it? Hopefully, we don't need to bribe anybody. We don't have much gold. <laughs> Barter man, barter man. Spends the deal on you, size got platinum plated thighs. Look out, here comes the barter man. <laughs> oh. Wait, that honest guy? Bean chips and Kerrygold Skellige cheese is a fantastic combination. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. It's a bag of hoarder. <laughs> Don't tell me, Peter Parker. Don't tell me. Speak. Yes, without hesitation. Yes, tab shows all the selectables. I think anything that like doors, chests. Oh. I'm scared that we're gonna get in trouble because that seems like it's leading. There's lots of doors to go into. Squirrel and moose. Hello. Hello, little squirrel. The squirrel has nothing to say to you. Excuse me. Fergus. Go talk to this guy. Hello, Fergus. Oh, I should save. It's too soon for that game. He's got Khalid's voice! No, 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 no. That's not allowed. Moose, why is my dog in a cage? I know, right, Daniel? What the heck? Boo, yes, we want some friends for Boo! We have a miniature space hamster, why can't we have a moose? Right? Oh my gosh, no way! Yeah! I feel like my chair is hitting the table. Hang on. Go down, chair. There we go. I think that's better. Oh! You startled me! Please forgive me! Oh. Um, what's the problem? The problem? I was in the circus tent and I got out just in time, just in time to save my life. It was terrible. Relax and tell me what happened from the beginning, friend. Well, I go by Tattoo the Tiger Tamer. I was going to put on my show this morning, but it got delayed because of a special performance. I don't know who the performer was. I was so mad about being delayed, you see. I stayed in the back of the tent and prepared my tigers. Not long after that, I felt sick all over. The tent got all wavy. I looked out into the main tent and the audience, they were all changing. Their bodies began shifting right before my eyes. The tent was disappearing, being replaced by, by things I'd never seen before. I ran for the exit. I escaped just in time. I'm the only one who came out and no one who was, who has gone in has come back. Oh boy, I'm smelling a side quest here. The things I saw, horrible. Oh dear. Trunks are bad kids. Uh, the Tiger King! Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Um, I may have to take a closer look into this. I wouldn't go into the tent if I were you. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm so frightened. Okay. Okay, Mr. Tiger King. Oh, it's a tiger! Oh! <gasps> Oh, leopard. Never mind. Not a tiger. False alarm. Can we free the animals? <laughs> Whoa. Lord Ophel? What is going on here? This is not a normal town. There's clearly some sort of circus going on here. Hello? 
My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. Ah, good day to you. I'm Lord Dermot Ophel, and this is my wife, Lady Shireen. We have... Hmm, what do you think, my dear? I think the skin tone is wrong for a Kalashite. Indeed, com Cormoran, perhaps? Nonsense, not nearly enough class. Waterdeep, perchance? Not nearly civilized enough to be from Waterdeep, darling. Now you're just being silly. Well, you don't think they're Omnian, do you, sweet? Certainly not. They don't look half so wealthy to be Omnian. Well, then, why am I speaking to them? Agreed. Shh, they'll hear us. Excuse us, but we've decided to snub you. Yes, we have. Good business, then, and good day. <laughs> wow. I'm offended. <laughs> How bizarre. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Whoa! It's a plane! The sign on this machine states the name of its inventor, one Eduardo Jansen. A flying machine of gnomish design. It looks a bit unstable. Hey, don't diss the gnomes. Mira, hello! Anything you need, I can likely provide, I assure you. Good business to you. I have not seen you air today. Have I the fortune of meeting a stranger to the city of coin? Wait, this is the city of coin? Not wealthy? I'll have you know it's a sling plus two I'm wearing. <laughs> Ma'am, that's priceless. Best dialogue ever, right? I snub my nose at thee. I do bite my thumb, sir. Um, yes, I'm new to Athkatla. My name is Amira. Pleased to meet you. I am Mira. Our names are so similar. Proprietor of this stall and its wares. You've been delivered by Pearl to me, I think. Have a look at my stock and ask whatever you wish. Um, yes, certainly. Can I see what you have for sale? But of course, you'll find that Mira is no kobold when it comes to quality and affordability. Um... Okay, I think the arrow plus ones are cheaper here. <gasps> Potion of healing! Do we need any of that? Mm, I think we're okay for now. But good to know. What she has slightly it? cheaper prices, this potentially. Ooh, another machine! For the glory of arm. A sign states this device was built to travel underwater. A stra strange a concept as that might be. This is so cool! It's very steampunk kind of vibe. Jedi, hello! I thumb my horse at thee. <laughs> we deal only in platinum and electrum. Indeed. Beware of any retailer who speaks themselves in the third person. That's a good point. Very good point. Okay, an Omnian soldier says, For the glory of Om, hold! This tent has been closed off for your own safety, citizen. The circus has been closed until this matter is resolved. Okay, I don't think that accent quite fits, but... Why? What has occurred here? We are not exactly sure. There was no problem until the show was scheduled earlier in the morning. Apparently the show began well enough, and then something occurred. Nobody has come out of the tent who went in for the show. And everyone we sent in to investigate has not come out either. Foul magic is no doubt involved here. We are waiting for the cowled wizards to arrive. Okay, they arrived very, very quickly for Irenicus and Imowen. Maybe they're just busy dealing with them, and Irenicus did take out quite a few. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll give it to them. They will be able to solve this, I am sure. Okay, we met the person who escaped. I can handle myself. Perhaps I can solve this problem for you. Oh, very well then. I'll not stop you if you wish to risk yourself, citizen. You were warned. Minsk says, It is no risk, not so long as we have swords and braveness to the brim of the tall glass of goodness. Right, Boo? Yoshimo, we should be careful, Mira. There's no telling what's going on within. If the city guard can't handle it, be prepared for anything, is what I always say. Okay, investigate the circus tent. Okay, the journal is not- or the quests are not very user-friendly. <laughs> Something has occurred in the circus tent in Joaquin's promenade. No one that goes in comes back out. The garden front has agreed to allow me to enter to investigate. 
So this is called Joaquin's Promenade. For sure, you'll never have any more problems in the bedroom if you know what I mean. Oh my god, did you hear that? It was just some like weird echoey voice that said, we'll never have any more problems in the bedroom if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so we are, okay, here's the world map. Joaquin's Promenade is where we are. Oh, whoa, it's quite a big city. Watchers keep destination unreachable. Windspear Hills, maybe those are DLC areas. Okay, cool. We will discover as we go. Oh, this is great. So, okay, here's clearly where we escaped. I don't know why this building is exploded. Maybe from the Guild War, and then that's how we... I can't remember. I think we escaped, and then it collapsed. But that's where we came out from Irenicus's dungeon. Creepy dungeon thing. Here's an inn, a spell store, den of the seven veils. Oh my gosh, I love that the map has icons to tell us where things are. Thank you, Bioware. Thank you. <laughs> Minsk is one of the greatest characters I know, right? No, I haven't, Daniel. The wiki? Quite the staff of power if you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Wolf, no worries! Oh, thank you so much. You're amazing, Wolf. Big hugs to you. I hope you sleep well and rejuvenate yourself a bit from your long week. No worries at all. Thank you so much for being here. No need to cast in large. <laughs> so much to do, so much to see, I know. Oh, cool. The Goddess of Wealth. Amazing. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? Oh, the explosion collapses the tunnel behind you before you... Okay, got it. So that's what collapsed that building. Dang. Probably part of the Guild War, maybe? We'll see. Considerably larger than the first one? Oh my goodness. Never shine if you don't glow. Wow, 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 wow. Whoa, two discs versus four discs? Five? <gasps> oh my gosh. Whew. I love this. Because remember how much time we spent in the first game trying to remember where to go to find um, stores and things? <laughs> Speak. We definitely spent a lot of time. Okay, we're going into the yes. tent just to investigate. I quick saved. If it must be done. Floppy disks would not handle this bit ring. It will be done. Oh gosh. <gasps> a genie? Another genie? Aha! I see a wayfarer has come to amuse Kala. You must answer a riddle, naturally, ere I will allow you to pass this bridge. Are you ready to hear it? Um. Very well, I'm ready, I think. Oh no! It's another math puzzle! <laughs> Dang it. Math? Five discs? Oh my gosh. Okay, a princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince. I hate this. Okay, good thing I have my handy dandy notebook. Okay, a princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of their present age. Oh my goodness. This is really when I'm tempted to look things up. Oh, okay. Princess. Princess? I'm lost. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can do this. One piece at a time. One step at a time. Da -da -do, do, do, do. Okay, two times princess.
Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I think, oh no, oh I'm wrong. Oh no. I could just say I don't know. I mean, Amira's intelligence is like nine, right? <laughs> Get out of your app, I guess. I like answer six too. Uh, it's not weird that you remember the answer. I like the game gets me and has the option to say I really don't know. <laughs> That's amazing. D&D really is the best game. Uh, June, hello! Welcome into the tavern. How are you? That was for city folk. Oh my gosh. No, it's okay. Don't tell me. I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it a shot. I feel like Amira would either give the wrong answer or say she doesn't know, though. I feel like that's like her character. She's not. She's not a smart one. Oh, I don't even know how to make an equation out of this. I'm out of practice. I need to go back to middle school. <laughs> I know. I feel like I just like get, I, I'm like, okay, I've got this. And then I keep going and I'm like, I don't got this. You old. I just keep going back to the beginning and it's not helping me. <laughs> That's true, maybe I should just test the options instead of trying to do it. Prince was, I think the will be and was is confusing me. I have no idea. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just answer I don't know. Maybe we'll just fight this guy. Uh, I don't have time for your vigils. I surely don't know. You will get nowhere, my friend, if you do not make an attempt. Dang it. Being as benevol benevolent as the mighty Kala, however, I will allow you another opportunity. Oh! Here it is then, my friend. Oh no. The poorest have it, the richest need it, but if either were to eat it, they would certainly perish. Tell me what it is. Nothing. Ah, you are correct. The mighty Kala respects those with the most agile and quick mind. Proceed across with my blessing. We didn't need to do math after all. All that. All that me trying to make an equation. You know I'm gonna go do it later though. I can't- I can't not figure these things out myself. <laughs> oh my god, same Daniel. Quick mind loses to middle school math! <laughs> oh my god, Canada- th that's amazing. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, I think if I weren't streaming and I could take my time with it, I would- I can figure it out. I know I can. I'm gonna do it later. 
but yeah, I feel like it would just take too long and be kind of boring. <laughs> but my pr I need my pride just won't let me like look it up myself. Wait, what? Oops. He didn't let knee cap you. Let let knee cap you. I don't know the math answer. Maybe we'll just fight the guy. <laughs> Okay, we did it! Good job, friends! Let's do a hard save here. We are smart. <laughs> if memory serves. What is it? Whoa. This is inside the tent? Certainly. This game is so trippy. <laughs> Whoever you are, you must flee this place at once. He's he's killed everyone else who has come into this place. Almost. Oh, please run. What? Oh, who are you talking about? Who's killed everyone? Kala. Oh, I don't know what he's done exactly or how, but everything here is an illusion, of course. But it's magic that can hurt you if you believe in it. Oh, you probably don't understand, do you? I don't know what he's done to the tent or with the others who have come in, but their deaths are real. You must run. Just who are you? How is it a monster has the voice of a young woman? I, I'm not a monster. I'm an elf, a winged elf, or at least I was. This is covering. This covering you see is some kind of illusion, but if you believe in it, then it becomes real. Please believe me. Now go before something happens to you, I beg of you. I've never heard of a winged elf. What are you talking about? I, I come from a race of winged elves, though there aren't many of us left from Faina Dale in the south. My wings were cut off a long time ago, though. But that isn't important. This place is too dangerous. Go back to the city and warn everyone what is happening here. You must flee! Okay, we're not just gonna flee. Who is behind all- wait, we already asked. I need to know exactly what's happening here first. Oh, I hope you don't end up like the others, but all right. My name is Airy. I work in the circus with my uncle, Quail. I don't know exactly what happened, but everything changed a few days ago. Everything became chaos and turned into what you see here. Although it isn't all real, it's an illusion. The minions, they say they serve Kala, so I know that he's behind all of this. He's an illusionist in the, an illusionist in the circus, but I don't understand how he was able to do all of this. He must be stopped before he hurts any more people. Please, if you release me from my chains, I can help you stop him. Chains? I, I don't see any chains on you. The chains are invisible, covered by the illusion, and they're magical. They prevent me from casting my own spells, and they maintain the illusion which is placed on me. Okay, hopefully this person isn't messing with us. But I'm gonna try to believe her. Very well, how do I release you from them? You need the key to these chains, but it won't look like a key. There are a couple of commoners in the north side of, his, of this chamber. Don't be fooled by the illusion, though. They are monsters. They have a sword which is actually my key. If you get it from them, I can remove the chain and regain my normal form. But please be careful. You can't trust anything you see here. What? Okay, this is so trippy. What is happening? <laughs> birthday cake? Ooh, enjoy your birthday cake. Yeah, totally, Daniel. Ogre! Tentception? <laughs> I was surprised. Uncle Quail. A lot of ants, definitely. Okay, I guess we need to find her key, which is actually a sword, which is being guarded by peasants, but they aren't actually peasants. They're they're monsters in disguise. <gasps> a spider? Oh, I am a simple woman. Please don't hurt me. Oh, what am I to do? Who are you? My name's Hannah. I came to the circus with my son, although he didn't come into the tent with me. Oh, please help me. I'll try, but I must leave you for now. Oh dear, watch out for those awful peasants. Don't let them hurt you. Okay, this is so strange. Uh-oh. It's the peasants! Not a safe world! 
<laughs> the possibilities of death are boundless. Oh. Whoops. Attack! Oh, whoa! Take the life oh, whoops. She gave. Get him! Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, the sword! The ogre's sword. Oops. I keep clicking W like I'm like controlling my character with WSD. Be doubly careful. I'm sure all manner of stupid mouse traps await our toes in the dark. A pleasure slave? Oh no. I like Yoshima. Be doubly careful. I'm sure all manner of stupid mouse traps await our toes. <laughs> You, you had the key, or, or rather the sword. Please, please give it to me, and, and I can be rid of this illusionary form at last. Um, I, as you wish. I thank you for your trust. This sword is actually a key that unlocks the chain that powers my horrible illusion. What? My hands, my skin, it's real again. Oh, thank you, Beovar. Almost my quail and stop Kala before he does any more harm. Oh my gosh! She wasn't actually a monster! I was like, half expecting her to turn into a monster and say, ha ha ha, I tricked you! <laughs> Orc sees in disguise! Airy, new party member, hopefully! <gasps> She's so pretty! Lola Bunny from Space Jam, oh really? Oh my gosh. Join with us and we'll search for him together in this place. You would let me join you? All right, come, let's find Quail. Who knows what they've done to him? Ooh. Do we tell her about Arenicus? I think we'll talk about Imlin. I think you should know, Eri, that my ultimate goal is to rescue a friend of mine, Imowen, who's been captured by the cowled wizards. It could be dangerous. Oh, I would be glad to help you, truly I would, but simply- we simply must help Uncle Quail first, we must! Oh my gosh, we got another mage, I think! A female elf cleric mage! Yeah! It feels good. <gasps> Wait, she is your waifu. Oh, can she be ours too? I don't know. She's giving me some straight vibes, but I've only just met her. Maybe I should give her a chance. <laughs> the game avoided spoiling it by not using her portrait before. That's so nice. I love it. The <laughs> a bovine sub reference. Oh my goodness. Okay! Yes! Magic Missile! Oh my goodness! Protection from evil! Creates a magical barrier around the recipient at a distance of one foot. The barrier moves with the recipient and has two major effects. First, all attacks made by evil or evilly enchanted creatures against the protected creature receive a penalty of minus two to each attack. That's pretty good. If we're... Fighting evil creatures. Color spray. Vivid fan-shaped spray of clashing colors springs forth. Oh, not the clashing colors. That causes major damage to my eyes. Okay, one die six creatures within the area are affected in order of increasing distance. Okay, cool. Let's just roll with it for now. I don't know too much about these spells. Power word sleep. A slumber. Ooh. They can be attacked with substantial bonuses? Oh, heck yes. Yeah, let's get two of those. Ooh, blur. Oh, dang, that's good. Yeah, I think good armor for our wizard is a, is a good thing. Oh wait, does she- 
Oh my gosh, she gets both spell books. I forgot, that's so good. Major fashion damage. Five rounds is no joke. Wait, which one had five rounds? I missed it. Was it oops, oh no. Oh shoot. Was it? Oh dang, the sleep one is five rounds. That is no joke. <laughs> dang. Slumber party. <laughs> no, don't share it, Peter Parker. I don't want any spoilers. <laughs> Please don't. I appreciate, though. I appreciate the excitement. But no spoilers. I don't want to know any dialogue that I haven't seen. Okay, lightning bolt? No, no, no. I don't I don't mess around with, <laughs> with lightning bolt. Okay, protection from normal missiles seems pretty good. Slow causes creatures Ooh. Negates haste. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. Okay, I think she definitely needs some armor. Globe of invulnerability. Yeah, stone skin probably. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Priest spells. Okay, we're gonna keep her for sure. Dang, priest spells and mage spells all in one? I love her already. But yeah, 32 hit points is rough. <laughs> oh, just the music! <gasps> oh, dialogue music! Yes, please do. I would love to hear that. Yes, this game has romance. The first one did not. I don't, yeah, I don't think the first game has romance at all. I think that the only romance options come in, in effect, in this game. Okay, I think we need some cure. We've got two. Minsk has bless already. Maybe we'll let Minsk do the blessing? I don't know. Let's try that out. Let's get some more cure light -like wounds. Doom. Minus two penalty to all the rolls. That is good. I'm a fan of that. Sanctuary. Opponents ignores her existence. Oh, that is good. Okay. To, allows to heal wounds or to bless. Oh, that's so good. Okay, cool. I really like chant. Yes. Oh, I miss... This is perfect. I really missed Branwyn at the beginning of this game. I was like, where's my... Where's my priest? <laughs> Aid. Oh, yes. I like that spell. Slow poison, silence. I don't really use that. I'd rather do either another chant or hold person. Probably another chant. Whoa, holy smite. Whoa. Any evil creatures within the spell's area take one die four points of damage. I think I'd rather have something a little more. Either miscast or dispel. Probably miscast. Oh. No, I'm actually gonna do cure. Cure. Okay, cool. This is good for now. We can always mess with it more later. What is it? No, let's just like take a little nap, friends. Nap time! <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, Bula. I hope so. I, I doubt it. <laughs> it is nice to have a woman in charge for a change. Men always steal the blankets. <laughs> Were we cuddling with Airy? Bev! Hello! How are you doing? Are they all straight? 
Uh, yeah, I think we have enhanced edition, which is nice. I hope that there are some non-straight characters, but I don't know. Hi! Cuddle file! Snuggles! Falsy about Minsky, but it's very weird. Yes. OMG, what? What? <gasps> Snuggles, yes! Sh Snuggles with Snuggles. <laughs> Original game was all straight, but I don't know, but EE. -E oh. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We have to get a sense of our options. We're just gonna try to befriend everybody and then see who we can flirt with. I mean, you know that I treat Bioware games as dating sims, right? This is why we play. <laughs> you slept well then. Oh wait, we could ask what do you know of men? <laughs> the men will steal more than blankets if you let them, sister. <laughs> oh my god, this dialogue. <sighs> Bio dating. So say we all. <laughs> no worries, Daniel. You were part of a couple of modding teams back when this game came out. What? Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Good morning, Lego. How are you doing? Oh wait, Lego, that was you who said so say we all. Oh my goodness. And what do you know of men? Not... Not very much at all, Amira, but if I find one kind enough to share the blankets on a cold night, I think I would. I think I would like him very much. Aw, oh, dang it! Speak. Yes. Well, well, well. She seems pretty straight. What is it? Bummer. <laughs> Fs for our ro <laughs> romance potential with Airy. <laughs> Thirsty fools! You modded the heck out of this? Oh my gosh. It will be Amazing. Done. Hello. I am here to serve. Pleasure slave. Ugh. Welcome, lady, to Kala's realm. Be thee not of impure mind, for surely Lord Kala shall destroy thee. Be thee not of impure heart, or thou wilt surely destroy thyself. Kala is the one ruler, the one true being. Thank you for your welcome, and I shall most certainly beware. Okay, goodbye. Call his blessing upon thee, lady. Okay, we're going in. <laughs> oh gosh. Werewolf? Retreat. Oh my, oh my gosh, what is happening? I'll help however I can. Chant. Do the chant thing. Your mind. Summon a nymph. Armored, sharpened, and raring to go. Fatio, Fatio. I await his dunk. Yeah. yeah. Wait, did she not? Boo says, "What?" Ability score drained. Oh, so she didn't summon the nymph. Yes. Bomber. Certainly. <gasps> Run! With vengeance. Go, go, go! Oh dang, did I cancel her spell by accident? Oops. <laughs> to battle! We're such beasts. <gasps> CM! How are you doing? Welcome in! Oh my gosh, there are a ton of mods. Yeah, I'm playing totally vanilla Enhanced Edition right now. I need to explore the mods when I play my second playthrough. Got him. <gasps> An invisible sh a shadow? What? Okay, they're- okay. Only magic will work. Um... Hmm. 
Color spray! Oh no, actually, this is working. Something's working. Oh, something's magical. Nice! Who has a magical weapon? Okay, Amira's. She's using again. Arscona plus two. Cold damage, that's right! Oh, excellent! Speak. Haha, -ha, that's coming in handy. You're back! Welcome back, Daniel. <laughs> Quickly and precisely. Welcome, welcome. Okay, I think we came in the lower door. Oh my gosh, there's a genie! What the heck? Hello. <laughs> that scared me so much. Congratulations, Amira. Kala is most amused by your progress. Amused? You may let yet live as long as you continue to provide such entertainment. Are you ready to proceed? Wait, I'm- I'm not some whatever, like, enchanter's entertainment, okay? What is going on here? Who is Kala? Fool, your process of discovery is part of the fun. As to Kala, he is the lord of this domain. Ere long he shall be your lord. Are you ready to proceed? I am ready. You do show some courage. Go then. What is this? This game. Okay, let's go. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, what? You have left them here nicely. I clicked spacebar to pause and I missed the dialogue. Here we go. Oh, it's Kala. Kala says, ah, my beast. You have led them here nicely. Okay. Ari says, what? I'm not. <laughs> You're not what? You're not my beast? Oh, but you are. All of you are, don't you see? Oh my god, the voice acting. I love it. What have you done to my Uncle Quail? Little Aerie, is that you? I have no eyes, no eyes. Oh no! Be careful, Amira. Some of these beasts are real and some are illusions. There's no way to tell until they hit you. Yes, it's a regular three ring circus, isn't it, my beasts? Now go ahead and tear each other apart. I am living for this voice acting. Okay, can I turn off AI? There we go. I don't want to accidentally attack anybody. So the oh, foot went off. I won't let my friends be hurt. My friend does nothing. Yes. <gasps> no, 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 no! No! Don't kill her uncle! This is a lot more exciting than any circus. Well, not right now, Ari. Not right now. <laughs> Doom. Mince, bless us. <laughs> Retreat or fall before me. Oh, we can't call lightning because we're not outside. Dang it. Speak. Yes, I am ready. No, no, no. No, quail. What is it? Speak. Without hesitation, my little long run away. Next time. What do you need? You're right, you're right. <gasps> we did it! Oh, that was stressful. No! <coughs> this isn't what was supposed to happen. This isn't what was promised to me. What? Sudden genie, no more math. Nicola <laughs> is using you to answer his middle school math. No more. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, there is or was a mod to end the you must gather your party before venturing forth? Blessings of the hamster. <sighs> oh. Go for the eyes! Aw, oh, thanks, Tappy. You have no cell service! I have planned this for too long, only to have my plans shattered by some inbred northern adventurers. I, I just wanted to be respected. This is how you chose 
to gain people's respect? Okay. Cautionary tale. <coughs> You've killed me, destroyed Ka with your misplaced morals and beastly greed for adventure. <sighs> Okay, you can choose to believe that, Kala. What has passed here, Gnome? You replaced the circus with your personal playground? You fool! You truly know nothing! I am Kala, an illusionist. I made a clown mage for the pleasure of the tall folk. But I bided my time, and I was promised a world I could rule. In Arm, a mage is a criminal, and a gnome is a spectacle. In this tent, in my world, Kala was the master, where none would dare to laugh. Oh dear, this is tragic. What of the circus employees, Kala? What have you done with all of those that have disappeared into this tent? Indifference killed those fools from the circus! I treat them in death as they were to me in life. A gnome gets no respect. I just wanted people to look up to me. All that I have done. What a pitiful little man. Everyone did laugh at him, but they didn't deserve to die. I just can't hate him despite all he's done. The gnome is dead. How he was able to perform these great feats of illusion will have to remain a mystery, it seems. Ah. <gasps> well... That was fascinating. Uncle Kyle, you're okay. The, okay, the gnome illusionist has been killed, and the tent has reverted back to normal, says the quest. Uncle Quail's okay! Yay, we saved him! Ha! Huh, I knew Kala would trip over himself eventually. I'm just pleased he despised me enough to play with me rather than dispose of me like some of the others. Oh, Quail, what would I ever do without you? I... I think you need to find out, my dear. I've taught you everything I can. It's time, Aerie. Time for you to learn the rest on your own. You're the wisest and the smartest and the kindest man I'll ever know. I wasn't always, my dear. You changed that, Aerie, but I can't keep you here for myself forever. Oh, Quail, I would miss you. Then you shall have to come and visit me from time to time and tell me what you've learned. Go with my blessing, girl. All right, take care of the circus while I'm away. Oh, don't worry about me. If you find happiness, maybe the pain of losing your wings will be lessened. Nothing would please me more. Be well, my Aerie. Oh, that was so heartwarming. Oh my gosh, we did a good thing, friends. Yes, this will not be Yay! Take long. Call me, maybe. <laughs> How about call me never? Oh no. Can lock him up and throw away the key. Oh my goodness. Wait, really, Tavi? That's so cool! Wait, an NPC- is he a companion? I can feel my teeth rotting from Aerie's sweetness. <laughs> she is so adorable. Level up! Yay! Oh, his fine traps is very good. I think, uh, open locks, we need to up that a bit. How convenient that we got a, uh, a thief character and that he just like randomly if showed up and then we lost our other thief. Pretty nice. It is above and I am willing. Ooh. A nice girdle. Hmm? Harry, can you identify those please? Thank you. Speak your mind. You need something? Okay, I haven't even checked her inventory. <laughs> she has a sling. That's great. Let's give her some bullets. Ring. Ring of human influence. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Aster is here! How are you doing, my friend? Oh my gosh. Hello. How are you? Happy Saturday. Welcome. We are doing Baldur's Gate. And it's going great. How are you? What are you drinking? Or eating? We're killing gnomes, apparently. We just saved 
some people, some circus performers from an illusionist who had turned the circus tent into his own little, like, illusionist realm and, like, killed people. It was pretty bad, but we took care of that. And we got a new companion out of it who's a mage. <laughs> Stable. I love that. Yeah, B. Juan has so many companions. He's a cleric illusionist. So cool. A girdle. <laughs> Ring of human influence. Yes. You're sore. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm glad you'll be fine. Sore is sometimes good. I am good. Thanks for asking. Oh, interesting. Gnomes are good at illusion. I did not know that. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking, Aster. I've got some bubbly water. So, and a soulless romance pin. So, you know, things are good. Can't really complain. <laughs> and we're playing games together. Life is awesome. Okay. The Ring of Human Influence. For seven years, Count Fisfnilt okay, searched the realms for a suitable bride for his son, Eunin. Eunin. Eunin? <laughs> Unfortunately, all the women that Fisfnilt found were not up to the standards set by Eunin, an impossibly spoiled man. Desiring an heir and impatient with his son, the Count had the court mage fashion this ring. He gifted the ring to a woman of no small courtly influence, and Eunin was instantly smitten. They wed three weeks later. <laughs> Oh, it increases your charisma to 18. And you can do charm person once per day? Okay, I think Amira already has high charisma. Oh, no, it's only 15. Give her that ring. <gasps> 18 charisma! Amazing. We're so charismatic, aren't we? <laughs> your leader, your herald, your inquisitor! What? Resonance? Oh my goodness! Thank you so much for gifting that sub! Enjoy your tavern patronage, Canada guy! And welcome back to being a tavern patron for your third month. Thank you so much, Resonance. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Cheers to our Inquisitor. Aging charisma, nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> we can court lords with high standards. Oh gosh, elves bane. I don't think our elf should wear that. An infamous highwayman in his day, Pandar of Scardale made quite a name for himself, vexing the elves of Cormanthor Forest. To their annoyance, he continually used the wood to escape the law. And with the aid of this girdle, the elves' arrows as well. Unfortunately for Pandar, pit traps and starvation proved a slower but effective substitution. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, armor class plus three versus missile and piercing attacks. Um, should we just keep buffing up Amira? Oh no, she already has a girdle! This four versus crushing. Yeah, it's probably better. Or Let's give this one to Minsk. Yay! Oh, and maybe we can give the bracers to Airy! Yeah! We're nailing it. Speak, it will be done. Any other loot? Give me that loot. Ooh, we can do some light gambling here too, I see. Okay, how is that spinning on its own? Excuse me. Okay, I guess I guess there's magic. We did just experience a whole like illusionary realm thing. I shouldn't be surprised by wheels spinning on their own at this point. <laughs> Certainly. Did we get everybody? Come on. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, we yes. we need we need to go to the tavern. Point us to the I tavern. Because we can't cast magic! 
Magic wheel, indeed. <gasps> Hi, Gnome Druid! Rob! How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Magic! Oh my gosh. What is it? Okay. Where are we going? Weaponsmith. The ore merchant. Let's get out of here. We need to go exploring. It will be done. Storekeep. This must be the weaponsmith, yeah. Sir, you look like a man Is that a cat? This is not a drill. A cat! Hello! Little kitty! <gasps> Such a good cat, but the cat has nothing to say to us, sadly. Is Who's this, this the way you talk to everyone, or is it just a poor thing? Come again? <laughs> These merchants aren't nothing but cheats. They're out to get all my money! Okay. Good for you. Or bad for you, <laughs> I guess. We should come back here at night and loot all the tables. I was told to reinvent the wheel, and I did! <laughs> yes. <gasps> Chinese! Yum. Wait, is that what the background voice said? <laughs> I missed it. Was that one again? Did you hear it? <laughs> okay, slums. Oh, that's where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go to the slums. Travel. Cool. You be the one I be looking for, if I'm not be mistaken. Oh no. Cool. You be the one I be looking for, if I'm not mistaken. Amira be your name, I. I'm. Sketch. What? The last time people came to me saying, Hi, you're Amira, right? They were here to murder me. Um, yes, I am she. What is it that you want? You might be wanting information about a young lass arrested by the wizards on your arrival here, I. Right? Oh, he knows about that. I'd rather know who you are first before I deal with you. Well, bless me for being an idiot if I haven't gone and forgotten my manners. Uh, my name be Galen Vale. You needn't stretch your brain thinking. I'd be sure it's a name you haven't heard. Oh, he's got like a Cockney accent. Oh boy. I don't think I can replicate that. I've heard of him, Amira, at least a little. He is a man with many connections amongst the underworld in this city. A man of this of his word, too, as far as that's worth. You be a different man. Hmm. You be renowned enough that someone might be willing to find this in for you. Or maybe this wizard who held you. Either way, they both went to the same place. Ooh. How do you know all this? I know very little myself. I can, however, link you up with a group that knows, or can be finding out. But this be not the best place to hold such a pile. True. I be having a place that would suit far better. It'd be just a short walk from here. Why don't I take you there right now? Unless you have some reason for not wanting to come along. <laughs> it's a trap! <sighs> also, cat! <laughs> Oh my gosh. A blue bush no stamina. <laughs> well, you murder them right back. True. We've never actually, they've never been successful in their murder attempts. <gasps> this is the first game you pre-ordered. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. That's amazing. You're putting together some Ikea. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Good luck, Tabby. You've got this. How do I know that this isn't some kind of trap? <laughs> I have no interest in setting up a trap. Well, oh, the voice acting stopped. 
It'd be more profitable to serve. I will speak no more. Come with me and you can decide whether to enter my house. My house. <laughs> Whew! It's good to be seeing you once again. I mean, we just followed you. <laughs> I see that you were able to keep up with me all right, eh? I was afraid I'd lost you there. Heh. <laughs> I kept up just fine. Now tell me what this is about. Aye, I'll be doing that as quick as you blink. I'll tell you straight that I know a powerful group that can be helping you. Okay. They can be finding the wizard and the young woman both they can. This sounds too good to be true. But they can be doing far better than the telling, my friend. They can also affect a rescue of your last to boot. Aha! Yes. Rescue Imowen. <laughs> it's easy. It doesn't like what someone who was going to set up a trap would say, right? <laughs> I know, isn't that great? A pigeon. He can rescue Imowen? Oh my gosh, I've little fondness for her, but I probably should get Imowen back. Just what is this organization anyway? This I cannot tell you. Rest you find that they will be willing to help and have enough power to challenge the cowled wizards. That's all you be needing to know. Excuse me? That's sketch. She'll crush him to pace. <laughs> yes. Oh, Shale. Can we get a Shale romance pin up in here? Please? Thank you. I'm... <laughs> This is sketchy. But then again, let's think about this for a second. In Dragon Age 2, we're approached by Varric, who's just super sketchy and sus at first. And he's like, hey, I know how to solve all your problems. Uh, my brother's going to the deep roads and like, you need to pay me like, or we need this much money. And it's like a lot of money to get in on it. And it seems kind of sketchy and then we go with it and it's great. So maybe this guy will be my new Varric. Coo! <laughs> I see. And how much might such assistance cost me? It may seem to be costly, but think of the danger in crossing the cowled wizards. A fair price if you think about it. It'd be 20,000 gold pieces for their help. Uh, uh, 20,000? All I need to know is where Imowen is. I can handle the rest on my own. You might think this, but I'd be telling you it isn't true. Without my organization, there'd be nothing you could do. Choose then, if you'd be wanting our, their help or nay. Very well. I do want their help in rescuing Imowen then. Okay. Do he's asking if I have the 20,000 gold pieces? Like, two... Uh, how many hours has it been? Six hours into the game? Five, maybe? <laughs> um, is there no way to lower the cost? I have, um, uh, 250 in my pocket? None. It'd be 20,000 gold pieces or my friends cannot be helping you. I do not have that much. How am I supposed to raise such an amount? I'm sure you've spent as much in the past and will again. Surely there'll be work in the city for you. Or perhaps some of your expensive goods to sell. Very well. I'll be back with the money. I, I'll wait for it. Bruss will be waiting for you outside. He's my nephew and I'll show you to the Copper Coronet. That's where we needed to go! Yes! You'll find work easy enough there, you will. There was a girl in the Copper Coronet by the name of Nalia. She might have some work for a fighting woman like yourself. Fare you well, then, and give my greetings to Lettinen. Lettinen, if you happens by him. Heh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. Bye. The deal is made, and you have a goal. Chapter two. Albeit a distant one. Your new friend has assured you that passage to Imoen can be bought. Though you are certain the final tally will include much more than gold. Any help is welcome, however, and while the cost may be steep, your path is clear. Finding Imowen will lead to Irenicus and to answers long overdue.
This is so great. I love the like mosaic vibe here. <gasps> oh my gosh. These are the prisoners from the disturbance at Joaquin's promenade. What is known? Not but their names. The mage is John Irenicus. The girl is Emmeline. I didn't do anything. He did it all. I had... Silence, child. Allow the fool to make his judgment. Why was this man not gagged? Did he not slay four of you? We dared not approach. Uh, regardless, in the end, he came willingly. What should be done with them, sir? They are deviants. Let them rot in spell her. <gasps> Spell hold? What? Just tell us how to get there. Where are you? Just put it in our map. Oh, that was so cool! A cutscene! <laughs> this is so exciting. You may have ordered a bonus version, but it was definitely a pre-order. That's so cool! Better bail out. I know, right? I'm not even that rich in DA2. Ugh. Peanuts. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love satisfying packaging. <laughs> Very roll. Oh my gosh, Daniel. Yeah, I think that gold is different. Because, like, in Dragon Age 2, it's 50... What are they called again? Not sovereigns. Is it sovereigns? The gold pieces are like way more. It's like gold, silver, and then copper, right? I can't remember what they're all called. But getting 50 was like a big deal. <laughs> Cutscene, yeah! The narrator's voice is great, I agree. Speak. Okay. I don't think we're gonna try to rob Certainly. this guy. I feel like we're gonna get in trouble. Oi! You be the one I was watching for, I? Uncle Galen told me. Galen? Is not our uncle in Dragon Age 2? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hang on. No, that's Gamlin. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Thre that threw me through a loop. <sighs> oh my gosh, when gold had weight. Oh, compared to BG1, yes, that is a lot of gold. I don't think we ever had that much gold in BG1. <laughs> Gamlet, exactly. Sovereign was probably a few months pay. Exactly! This is gonna take us forever to get all this gold. Okay, there's a boy talking to us here. Uncle Galen told me to give you a bit of help to find some work. Listen up, eh? There's this girl, Nalia, in the Copper Coronet. She says her land's been invaded. A big, strong fighter like yourself might be of use. Do you want me to show you to the copper core in it? Yes, I'll see what troubles this Nalia has. Okay then, make sure to stay close, because I don't have time to wait for you. Oh my gosh, here we go to the tavern! <gasps> 2,000 gold is enough to buy a big sailing ship in TNT 5th edition, really? Oh my gosh. Here you be. I'm sure you can find the rest of your way from here, I. Right? Off you go. Okay, thank you, small child. Okay, let's look at our map. This place is not a friendly one. Can you all hear the voices okay? Hello, Nordic Wolf! Welcome into the tavern! How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. We just had some exciting cutscenes. We made it to chapter two of Baldur's Gate 2, which is really exciting. Okay, Jahira says this place is not a friendly one. Be wary of who you deal with. Why? What would anyone here wish from me? Perhaps not here as such, but you are still a valuable commodity. Thanks? There are those that know of the children of Baal, and they may desire services from you. I do not wish to alarm, but always remember what you are, and that you may be tested from time to time. I feel it is my job to warn against such things. Okay, thanks, Jakira. I appreciate you. Thanks, Boo. Oh, we've explored the whole place already! <gasps> Whoa! The Jansen home. Okay, there's Galen Bale's home. Oh, I love- oh no, a slaver stockade? Ugh. 
the planar sphere? <gasps> a planetarium? <laughs> a temple? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, let's go into the copper coronet. Yes. <gasps> to the tavern! What is it? We need Without to sleep. Them. Ooh. Quickly and precisely. Stay back, or you'll regret it. Oh dear. Remember the drunken druid tavern being Faerun? Ooh, that's a good question! I don't know! I feel like near Candle That's where the swoop gangs hang out. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking! I was like, oh, this is gonna be a rough crowd here. <laughs> a lifetime- exactly, LH! Depends on the job. True, 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 true. You're doing good, yay! Glad to hear it. Two gold pieces per day? Oh my gosh, Amira's gonna be like an old lady by the time we rescue him. <laughs> oh. Oi, look at that dolly girl all sacked up like an adventurer. <laughs> Are you supposed to be tough or something? Watch your tongue, churl, or you'll lose it quickly enough. Oi, that sounds like a bleeding challenge, it does. I've no fear of you, dolly girl. How about it, then? I, You want to fight? I mean, yeah. I have almost 19 strength, so watch out. But we also have 18 charisma. Can't we just charm him? Very well. If it's a fight you want, I'll not back down from it. You hear it, boys? Looks like she wants to fight. No one said she was smart, I. <laughs> yeah, you're the best, Amalas. Ugh, Amira, is this really necessary? Can't you just ignore him? So be it. Hey, Surly. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Oh, it's someone's name. Surly says, What? What is it? I gots me here some gold for a fight, and a loser to be, sure enough. Ah, there's no need for you to yell so loud, idiot. Fine, fine, I'll have the bleeding pit set up for you. Once I see your gold, that is. All right then, friend, let's step into the ring, shall we? Oh my gosh. Wait, we're in the fighting ring? <laughs> we found the arena. We found the proving matches already. I, I thought it would take us much longer, but here we are. Yes. <laughs> Get a wizard in a 5e game. Four million gold? <gasps> Holy moly. Draws her sword. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Someone say fight. <laughs> yeah, an ancient dragon seems pretty tough. Speak. Alright, we better check out. You also ocean. might want to check out the cantina. <laughs> oh my gosh, she doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, Whoa, we have Minor Drain? Let's try that. I didn't know we had that. Attack! Come on, Amira. You got this. Look alive! <laughs> oh my gosh, are we gonna actually kill this guy? Come on! Give us a- Oh my gosh! We completely murdered him! <laughs> Like we are the swoop gang. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it was gonna be like a I surrender kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, what's a Bioware game without an arena, right? <laughs> that was amazing. Uh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was violent. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> Remind me not to upset you. Yeah, Amira just... She's ready to fight. She's mad. This guy stole her friend and is just ruining... Just thrown off her groove. <laughs> Exploded. I know, right? I think that's what happens when you like do a critical hit or something. I don't know. 
was... Ooh. Ooh. Thing. I do not want to be on her bad side. <laughs> it does now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was that game that we were talking about earlier? The the quest... Or not the quest, the... The game where you have to clean up after, like... Like, all of the alien goo and stuff. <laughs> okay, well... <clears throat> The butcher of Baldur's Gate, apparently. Excuse me. We don't have to do that. Be off with you. You killed Amalas. What am I gonna tell my mom? Well, we just uh, ruined somebody's life today. Hey, you wanna fight? Uh, what you want? What is it then? Surly is in no mood for churls today. Come back tomorrow. What is it that you do here? What does it look like? I'm a priest of Lathender, and this here is a devotion to the bloody Dawn Rabbits. Are you simple or something? Get out of my face. <laughs> Fine, I'm going. Okay. Okay, Surly. Yes. I get it. Is anyone willing to hear my plea? Anyone? Yes! Well, honey, I've helped some of you. Is this the thanks I get? I've helped lots of your kind. Nalia! You smell like a side quest. And money. <laughs> Please continue. You! Are you for hire? As a mercenary, I mean. You look capable and hardy, like you've had formal training. I also just saw you cut a man to bits in the arena. <laughs> okay, I added that last dialogue myself. Um, hmm. Oh my gosh, there are so many options. I might be able to help you. Calm down and tell me what's wrong. I need a strong hand to help me. My land is under siege, and none of this rabble will aid me. And after all I've done for their kind, too. What is she meant by their kind? Humans? Is she an elf? Are you an elf, too? Please, can you assist me? Um, who are we to be fighting, and why are they attacking your land? There's no time. I only hope that the attackers have made it in sight have not made it inside. If they have, if they've breached the inner courtyard, they will be hard to rout. I will tell you what secrets I can. Perhaps you will be able to sneak in and attack from, more from a more vulnerable spot. I hope father's all right. He, w he would not leave. Should I travel with you? I've spent a few weeks slumming and I'm quite capable of opening the odd lock. I had to pick three just to get out of the main keep. Auntie doesn't like me leaving at night, but how else can I donate to the poor and not be noticed? They have pride too, and I really shouldn't be seen with them. Oh, I see. I see. So by their kind, she means the poor. So she's like a wealthy country girl who like snuck away because she's under, I'm very confused. What's going on? <clears throat> so sad, I know, right? Was that the, what am I gonna tell mom? <laughs> Nalia, yes. That needs to be a quote. It smells like a side quest. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, Bardcore Nirvana! <laughs> yes, good clipping skills. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> I appreciate you. Okay, I need some more details. Excuse me, how much will you pay me? But, okay. <sighs> Slumming in the city. What's that? How does it start again? Nothing like summer in the city. Someone in a rush into someone looking pretty. Excuse me, miss. I know you got money because you per- No. I know it's not funny, but your perfume smells like your daddy's got money. That's that's what I'm getting. That's the vibe I'm getting from this girl. So I think she will pay handsomely. Um, I don't think I need an extra hand right now. I'll meet you there if you point the way. Very well. But if you reconsider, I've always wanted to travel. Do you help other people often? I really like helping the less fortunate. I'm told they work so hard. <laughs> this is great. This is quality dialogue right here. Helping others is good, says Minsk. What a nice little girl you are. Would you like to see my boo? I think he approves of you too. <laughs> I got Minsk, you sound so creepy. Ease up, ease up. You speak as if unaware of class distinction, and yet your manner exudes it. A sign of immaturity. Good, then, that Amira is sending you ahead. I will meet you at my land. I'll mark it on your map. We'd best gather south of the keep so we're not spotted. Please be quick. 
Okay. The da de Arnis, de Arnis, keep has been invaded. She seems like she's Orlige. <laughs> I've met a young woman by the name of Nalia who's desperate to find help for her family's keep, which is under siege by a force that she has not yet explained. <laughs> I know, right? She's just like, help me. Okay, bye. Let's <laughs> see you there. She's agreed to tell us all if we meet her by the keep, which she marked on our map. But we must travel there quickly if we're able, if we are to be any help at all. Exciting! Wait, she's Azula! Oh my gosh! <laughs> LH! I love it. That is that is the question. <clears throat> Who else have we got here? Okay. Corgan. Corgan. Okay, I'm actually gonna take a quick uh, potty break. But I'll be back in a couple minutes and we will explore the rest of this beautiful tavern and um, hopefully get some rest and go to this person's keep and make that money, make it rain. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> We're back. Tinkle time, says Daniel. <laughs> Perfect. VT! Oh my gosh, no, not that again. <laughs> you must answer this question. No, okay, sorry. No, 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 I'm sorry. We need someone to do our math homework for us. <laughs> Say, little girl, mind if Mince here shows you his face? Let poor Minsk out of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Minsk. Love him. <clears throat> okay, hello. Corgon, Corgan, Corgan Zola. Was for all. I be curious, friends. I'm scouring for a band of desperate men to aid me in a gallant task. You don't say. You look like you keep undertakers in a brisk trade. Have you courage and time for a tale? We'll listen to your tale. Belly up, comrades, and let Corgan flail the bladder for a spell. A fortnight passed. Me fellows and I were in the midst of obtaining an ancient text. I'm in the math mindset now. Test? Homework? An ancient text for our patron when a skirmish visited our mist. Midst. <laughs> Vile words, alas, became a lake of bloodshed. So it goes, the sacred grimoire ne'er made it to our benefactor's hand, and now he awaits its arrival with a zeal reserved for a grog blossom and an ang ale keg. What? I don't understand what he's saying. He awaits its arrival with a zeal reserved for a grog blossom and an ale keg. I see. Okay. So they didn't get the grimoire to their employer. The scuttlebutt is the pay is handsome and worthy of note. Sacks of loot and odd magics. The volume sits not far from here, and the bibliomaniac, he paces the floor in the meantime. Okay, okay, so we need to go get this book. Um, who is this book collector? Why his interest in this particular time-worn time -worn manual? Oh my gosh. My reading skills are not great tonight. <laughs> oh. Pimlico collects books just for the pleasure of collecting. Arcane, bizarre, peculiar, it matters not. Upon hearing of a curious map, chart, or book, he travels countless leagues to obtain it, fearful, fearful of entrusting his commission to anyone else. This were his first outside hire. Oops, he messed it up. As for the book itself, it name matters to me what lays twixt its skins. I'll not risk knowing I've pled for Elminster's memoirs or a drizzed lo loblolly recipe. <laughs> it's called the Book of Kaza. Oh my gosh, I love the references. It's like to mid squirts. <laughs> yeah, the accent is great. It says it should be assembled by two people. Just me sitting on my bedroom floor should be fine. <gasps> be careful, Tabby. Oh no, he's passed away. That's sad. Wait, what the heck, Bula? That's so weird. I wonder if Twitch is tripping. Pimento. There we go. Um. 
Oh yeah, it's probably about lifting, huh? Okay. The Book of Kaza. Where is the book then, Quirkin? In some hobnails tomb over in the lower crypts of the graveyard district. It's not abandoned, but rumors and half-truths only scare the young and infirm. Keeps the curious away, I guess. Me, me guess. Is there something we should know about this tomb? Well, it'll take far more than a few shambling bags of skin and stitches to deter Cor Corgan Bloodaxe from a king's ransom. A foolhardy jaunt into a hive of undead? How could you resist? Okay, we could plunder the crypt of its riches with Corgan. That sounds good. That's exactly what we want. We'll join you in plundering this crypt of its riches. Drink hail! Then let us post haste to the crypt and riches beyond Ken! Ha ha! One thing- oh wait, oh he's gonna come with us? Okay, we're, we're adding him to our party. One thing first, I should tell you that I intend to rescue an old friend of mine named Imowen, and this takes precedence over anything else. Or wait, hang on, no. I don't know if we even need to say that, because we just need to help him get this thing and get our money and then we can drop him if we want to. Fine, let's go. Oh my gosh! Be quick with it. A berserker! Amazing. Oh my gosh, Tabby, be careful! Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, well, don't hurt yourself, okay? Be careful. Okay, we've got a new friend here. A dwarf? Chaotic evil! Oh, he's gonna have to go. We're, not, we're gonna have bad times. We've got good, true neutral, chaotic good, true neutral, and neutral good. Uh, <laughs> what do you want, Roundling? Ooh, oh, he does look so cool, though. He has a battle axe, though. Well, if we find someone better, we'll replace him. For now, we've we got a new friend. Whoa, so many people. Lord Jirden. Salvanas. Tiana. Oh my gosh, so many people. Beeline for the lady in the dress. You! Have you seen my husband? I know he's in here somewhere! Oh my gosh, what the heck? A chaotic evil friend, is that a good thing? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it like balances our team out a little bit. You know, we got more diversity of opinions, but I don't know. Um, who might I ask is your husband? Rumar! Lord Rumar! You know who I'm talking about! Everyone here knows who I'm talking about! He's meeting her here again! Rumar's around here somewhere. No one will tell me where he is, but I'll get him and his cheap slattern too! You hear that, Rumar? I will get you for this! Um... Uh, I don't know where he is, actually. I'll find him eventually. I swear I'll find him! Okay, not what I expected. Cool. Salvanus, hello. The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Hello, my dear lady. You do look so delicious that the mere thought of wrapping my tongue around you would flame my mind with feelings of desire. Wow. That's a cute line, but I'm hardly interested. Go away. You wound me, my darling cub. I only wish to gorge myself on your beauty to sate myself on your divine presence. Um. Oh my god! Ugh, oh, brother, I told you to just go away and I meant it. It saddens me, but if it must be so, I shall worship my goddess from afar. Farewell, my goddess. Okay, we've all met that person at the bar. <laughs> Unger Hildark, oh my gosh. Don't be bothering me, little one. I'm not in a pleasant mood this morn. Okay. Such interesting folk. Lord Jirden. Jirden. You there? I would have a word with you. I am called Lord Jirden Firecraft, and I bid you stand up and hear what I offer. 
Firecrag. Nice name. <laughs> you gave Anders a great sword? Wait, what? That's amazing. <laughs> How did you do that? Excuse you, sorry, no, just no. Wait, 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 wait. Thackeray B I actually know someone you're referencing now, Peter Parker. Thackeray Binks? The cat? Wait. Which one? This one? Lord Jirden? Is is Thackeray Binks? Oh my gosh. I definitely had a childhood crush on Thackeray Binks, even though he was a cat for most of the film. <laughs> what does that say about me? <laughs> oh, Lord Julian is Minsk. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? I know, I agree, Bula. Where did... I don't like being referred to as a creature, but... Um, your flattery is not needed. I've listened to what you have to say. Certainly, you understand that these are dangerous times, and that extreme measures are often called for. That is why I have need of you. I am lord of a community outside Athkatla, and while I provide for my people as best that I can, there are some things I cannot do. Battle is not my strong point. Excuse me. <laughs> Bubbly water. Taking its toll. There are marauders, horrid ogres, and trolls that must be destroyed with fire, or they regenerate. Oh dear. I need a firm hand to push them back. I need you, Mira. I burn for you. <laughs> Oh, the flirty elf! Wait, human Thackeray and cat Thackeray are different actors? No! What? You're blowing my mind. <laughs> I offer a grand sum worthy of a woman of your stature. 10,000 gold! What? 10,000? That is an astounding sum for simple monster hunting. It is a small price for safety. It is not as though I'm without funds. I merely believe in paying for quality. You will be wealthy in my service, rest assured. You are the choice I make, and the offer stands whether you go now or not. There is no other decision that makes sense. I have no doubt your service will be exemplary. If all goes well, we shall all receive exactly what we deserve. My lands are on your map. The Windspear Hills await. Oh! Oh! Take swords against monsters of great evil! Already I feel boo wriggling in excited anticipation! <laughs> hmm, are you sure you're talking about your rodent there, Minsk? Not a heart attack? I've seen you be get pretty excited after all. <laughs> Of course it is Boo! Boo is always happy when opportunities for heroism come! We shall crush these ogres and rangers and hamsters! Everywhere shall rejoice! <laughs> this is so cute! <clears throat> well, I've heard of this Lord Jared in Amira. If it's any help, he has the coin to back up his offer. He's not reputed to be the nicest noble in Arm, but then, who is? I think it would be an excellent idea to get outside the city and administer justice on evil creatures. Tyranny is best matched with equal force. Ah, I know you, Drood. He wants nothing more than to return you, your, your return to your tree-hugging ways as no Wait, what? I have such trouble reading this guy's dialogue. And nothing more. More than likely he'll turn tail at the first sight of your ogres. I fought many an ogre in the past, dwarf, and many other powerful creatures aside from such. You should be wary that I do not add you to the list. <laughs> You're welcome to try it any time, half-elf. Oh, some banter! I love this! The banter! Human Thackeray played an agent in CSI Miami? What? Red flag, yes. Me too! sketch, right? Don't talk against the man paying you a lot for something you think is easy. You need money. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. 
it's not good. I'm excited to see what awaits us there. But it feels like it's like a later game thing. I don't know. If it must be done. Anyone else here in need of our services? Oh, you look. Oh, that's a bouncer. Oh, you look well equipped. Anomen, hello. Fair lady. What brings you to this cesspool of corruption? Fair lady. Oh. Keep talking. Um. Partake of the pleasures. <laughs> oh my gosh. What does Amira seek? She's more of like the adventure and honor type. And, you know, butt kicking for justice. I seek adventure and honor. Mostly. Chance smiles upon you, for I am an adventurer of some worth. I am Anamin, warrior priest of Helm. What is your name? Um. Oh my gosh! <laughs> This dialogue is amazing! Where did you get the idiotic accent from? Have you been reading too many romance novels? <laughs> I really want to say that, but Amira wouldn't say that. She only says that to people who are rude. She's only rude to people who are rude to her. She chops them to pieces. <laughs> I'm Amira. It's a pleasure to meet you. Finally, someone in this place who doesn't insult us. Perchance I have found worthy companions. I seek to be knighted in the most noble order of the Radiant Heart. <laughs> I love this guy already. <laughs> and I must prove my worth first. Have you need of a strong warrior, my lady? <laughs> oh my god, this is incredible. <sighs> the banter between party members did not seem nearly as good in Pillars of Eternity. Oh, interesting. Sleep well, Daniel. Take care. Thank you so much for being here, my friend. Shout out to Daniel and our amazing tavern mods. Y'all are amazing. Thank you. Take care, okay? Oh, interesting, Tabby. That's so cool. Yako, Pinky, and Dantel. Wait, what? No way, Peter Parker. Wait, that's incredible. <laughs> the brain. Oh my gosh, stop. This is too good. I love all the voice act. All voice acting is such an interest. Like, there's so much crossover between different fandoms and stuff. So cool. I'm impressed with the knowledge that you have in your head, Peter Parker. Okay, we gotta get this guy on our team. I love him. He's- this dialogue is quality. <laughs> I love it. The Order of the Radiant Heart. <laughs> I would be infinitely pleased to have you join me. Welcome. You can replace the- the surly dwarf. <laughs> Excellent. Adventure and honor await us both. I should tell you first, perhaps, that I seek to rescue an old friend who is being held hostage by the cowled wizards. There may be significant risk. Truly. Sounds like a worthy cause to pursue, but who is this friend that you speak of? An old friend, Imowen. We grew up together at Candlekeep, and I'm not about to abandon her to these wizards. Ah, the rescue of a childhood companion. Come then, my new friend, let us strive to find this Imowen of yours and challenge all the dangers that bar our way. Okay, I'm sorry. Kaldorn? No, what's his name again? Craig? 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 Dorn? Craig something. Remove... That person. The dwarf. What was his name again? But to Corgan. The grind, eh? Are we off? No, I think we should go our separate ways for now. We'll be back. Ah, I'd like some time to put up my feet anyway. Find me when you're through wandering and want to do some serious travel. I'll be at the Copper Coronet until then. Perfect. Oh, we're already here. Alright, we'll meet you there if we change your minds. Okay. We have a warrior priest! Sweet. Does that mean healing? This is why I wanted him. So many potential party members, so little time! I know, right? Pika Woo! Welcome into the tavern! How are you doing, my friend? <laughs> exactly, Peter Parker. Oh my gosh, Aster.
<laughs> and Amira's totally falling into Anaman's dialogue style. Totally, because it's like similar, like early on in Baldur's Gate 1, she was more of that style. I've kind of been adjusting her, because like, she's had such an interesting story arc or i'm in my head canon she has like had a really interesting character arc where like she was so innocent and like kind of believed that everyone was good and like yeah it was kind of pretty well educated at candlekeep i think that's like how i head canon her and she's kind of more like soft um even though her intelligence is low let's just ignore that she she tries her best okay um and then she was kind of thrust into this world and like realized all this terrible stuff about her and like people coming after her and she had developed trust issues. But someone like Animan is kind of, I feel like reminds her probably of the, maybe the soldiers, the nice soldiers um, and mentors and stuff back at Candlekeep. And like maybe even Garion, like the way he speaks is very similar to Garion's dialogue style. So I feel like she feels more trust towards someone like that because of her childhood upbringing. That's how I'm headcanoning it, at least. Um, plus, he's got um, heal. Yes, this, I love this. Okay, having two priest spell people, or three, is gonna be perfect. I love it. I love it. Guy's name is Craig from now on. Wait, who? A warrior priest with a shovel? You're good. I haven't done much today, though, and yeah, I'm still tired. Oh my gosh. If that isn't the mood, though. Totally. Is this spoiler say the one thing common in today's games is that this game this game has and BG1 doesn't? Wait, what? Oh, sure. No, you should go for it, Tabby. Fair lady, I'm looking for a strong warrior. Um... Well, maybe. Oh, I'm so excited for that tabby. Yes, I that I that I feel like I've heard a lot, and that's one of the reasons why I was so excited to play this game because of the character building. I'm so excited. Oh, the dwarf guy, Craig. Okay, perfect. The dwarf guy is Craig. Craig. I never know how to say that name. <laughs> okay, he's got command, perfect, and he's got some healing spells learned. Bark skin, perfect. Hold person, I love it. Let's give him some chant, though. I don't... Yeah, there we go. You know I like my chant. Animate dead. For now, let's keep dispel magic. Unholy blight? Oh, healing. Wait, what? Any good creatures within the spell's area take damage. Oh. Whoa. Okay, increases strength. Rigid thinking. What of warding? Ooh, invisibility purge might come useful. We'll see. We'll see how many invisible people we encounter. So far, I mean, there was that one spellcaster we had to deal with, the illusionist gnome person. But, like, it's illegal to use magic in the city, so I feel like we're not gonna encounter too much magic. Oh, we'll see. I could be very wrong. Negative plane protection. Partial protection from undead monsters. Let's just do another heal for now. I'm having the heal spells. I love it. I love it! Yay! Okay, what got our it? team. We're feeling good about this. Let's get a room and sleep. Oh, who's that? Hexat? Hello? Oh my gosh, there's so many people to meet! I will speak with you. I need help. I need help getting. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Bernard says, begging your pardon, ma'am. Hexat is harmless enough, but she can be a little uncoordinated. Is she alright? Those aren't exactly the words I would use, but I'm afraid she doesn't get much better than this. How so? She's in here every night. I should throw her out, but look at her. It'd be like kicking a sick dog. 
Milady, are you all right? Hi. I need to get to Dragomir's tomb in the the district with the graves. You wish to go to a tomb? Why? Treasure. There's a great treasure there in Dragomir's tomb. Treasure, you say? Graveyard. Enter from the graveyard. Treasure, you say? How much treasure? Great, great treasure. Um. Okay. Oh, wait, we don't have enough room for another person to join! Ah, <sighs> oh, an intriguing proposition. You know where this treasure can be found? Tomb. Oh, okay. Dragomir's tomb. With the graves. The district of graves. Oh, you're quite the saleswoman. Very well, let us go to this tomb. I'd see this treasure of yours. Tomb of Dragonhear? You can get me there? I can, but you don't really look like you're up for a tomb right now. Join me and my friends, build your energy up, then we can visit the tomb of yours. Not mine. Not my tomb. Okay. Dragonhear's. Must get to Dragomir's tomb in Graveyard District. Um, all in good time. A tomb's the last place you want to visit when you aren't feeling your best. Okay, for now, let's leave her. I'm intrigued, though. Please, don't make me leave. There is great treasure at Dragomir's tomb. I'm sure there is, but I really can't go there now. But you must. Dragomir's I get it. Holds great treasure. Wait, what? I'm sorry, I can't do it. No! No, no, no! Wait! I think we have to reload. That's annoying. Because now will we never... I'm gonna reload, just in case. To reload. Looks like we got too bold. When things go south, just hit reload. Yeah, because I don't want to lose the chance to get that side quest, so yes. I'm just gonna wait and not talk to her. Okay, let's get a drink or something. Or a bed, more like. Oh, dang it! No! I need help. I need help getting. No, no, no. Hexat. My name was... is... Hexat. Okay. I need to... Did she... Oh, she stayed there? Okay, good. She stayed there. Hopefully that's okay. Okay, she's staying there now. Hopefully we did it. American pronunciation, Craig. Australian pro pronunciation, Craig. Desk assembly is up four! Nice! Oh my gosh, 36! Oh no! That's a lot! Oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry. It's alright, Peter Parker. I'll just figure it out for myself, but thank you. Speed without death. Wait, this is the person we are supposed to say hello to for... Koo guy. Strangers aren't exactly welcome in these parts. Okay, this person's very creepy. Then let's not remain strangers. I'm a mirror. Mm, yes, well, I'm Le... Letin... Letinan. Proprietor of the Copper Coronet, if you will. Mm, welcome. Perhaps I could see what services you have available. <laughs> but you must speak to Bernard if you wish to purchase something. Okay, this guy is 
creepy vibes. I got some cheap beer for ya. Ain't got much time for talking. It's business as usual around here. If you want service, just ask. That is unless the lady would like something special. Thank you, but no. Tonight I am fine as I am. Suit yourself. Uh, what are the rest of you? Um, I'll see what's on tap. Thank you. Let's see then. Ooh, that ale is eight gold. Condensed but not skipped. <gasps> Sad. Let's get an Omni and ale. Two weeks ago, a giant sphere appeared in the middle of the slums. The cowled wizards have been desperately and unsuccessfully trying to gain entrance to it. Oh wait, is that that big planetarium thing we saw? Okay, good to know. Alright, let's do a merchant room. Ooh, there's a different cutscene for staying in an inn. That's so cool. Tempia, thank you so much for coming by the tavern. Cheers to you. Take care, my friend. Just buying a downing ale like it's water, you know. So I have to do with the cheap stuff. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you spend a certain amount of coin, they'll tell you a rumor, which is cool. Hey, wait, we healed fully. That wasn't a thing in Baldur's Gate 1. What a concept! Healing spells cast on rest until till fully healed! That's so cool! <laughs> That's how you play Pure Fire. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, team, let's go! How do I get out of this place? Get me out of this hellhole! Whew! Oh, a beggar! Okay, I'm sorry, we can't spare any coin. We have a very important business to attend to. District exit, let's get out of here. Quickly and precisely. Go, go, go! Oh, it's a toggle option! Oh my gosh, that scared me so much! Get me out of this hellhole! <laughs> Indeed! Oh, we can't reach there? Oh, we need to get to the city gates. Okay, go. You have been way late. Slavers? Oh! What is it now? Oh, but we can't cast magic! What is it? Oh my goodness. I shall go forth at your command. I shall go forth! I love this guy. Okay, we can't cast magic though. Oh yeah! Okay, what have we got here? Eldarin? Okay, that seems intense. Let's get this guy. Oh! Yes. Oh, I guess he can use his sword. It is done. I'll do it. I await your move. What is it? What do you need? I am skilled. Feel this. I can't go. Trust this. Speak. Daddy shall kill you. Oh wow, this was no not a problem, friends. Without hesitation. We're so good. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna encounter a hard battle at some point, but. Point the sword, and I shall strike. We got him. Well. Ooh, a necklace. Heck yeah. Oh wow. Ooh, good armor. Sweet. Yes. Hi. Oh, wait, sorry. Who you uses arrows? Leave the foot and all that. Ooh, that was quite a bit of gold. What can I in bear of Look, Anamen. The sun is rising. Oh my gosh, banter! <sighs> we got him. I'll beat them with my shovel. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. These two are just straight out of a romance novel. I like a bird of raw and flaming power. You don't talk much, do you? This guy's voice, though. What do you mean? You hesitate in your speech as if you are considering what to say next. Knights such as myself must be speaking with people constantly. Are you... are you scared about your test at all? I do not have the time to be frightened. And besides, the order cannot turn me aside forever. He has to pass the test? What? What is this, school or something? Whoa, look at that fancy sword. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. More arrows! Oh, they can stack. I love that. Short sword. Our Bane sword of agility plus two? Haste, immunity to hold and paralysis, and haste once per day? That's so good. Oh my gosh, the equipment is so much better in this game. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. One die six plus two piercing. I think hers is better than that. Yeah. Okay. What about, who could use that? Yoshimo can use it! Proficiency type short sword, and he has. What are his. What is that again? Abilities? Combat? What? What? Oh, here we go. Proficiencies. What? Where are his. Oh, there we go. Katana, dagger, short bow. Oh, no. So he's better at katana. But he could use this. Mince could use it, but he's better at sh uh, two weapon style. Yeah, two handed sword. That's also the sword of chaos, which is way better. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna give it to you, Yoshimo. Okay, cool. Oh, exciting. Oh, we need to learn these spells. Hello, Leo! Can you talk to the party members yourself or do they just do it between themselves? Oh, that's a good question. Let's try talking to someone and see what happens. I don't know. Plate mail. Oh, we have to wait on this one. Mace plus one. Yay! We can replace his shovel with a better shovel. <laughs> what are his stats? Ooh, good. Good strength. Good con. Okay. Yeah, Mira's stats are just so good. A little bit OP. Definitely just rolled as many times as I could to get her stats, so. Oops. Who else wants this? Here, Anamen have this. Anamen. Does that, does that? Yep, okay. Changed it from two to one. <gasps> Sleep well, Aster. It was so good to see you, my friend. Take care. There's a weird glitch with that sword. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, that's so weird. Okay, we will not sell it now. <laughs> okay, we've got these potions in case. Strength to 20. That's good. Strength to 21. Wait, the potions can stack beyond five? That's so beautiful. Wow! Brings a tear to my eye, you know? <gasps> okay, why- what- what can he use? Spe oh, whoa, he can use a lot of things. Warhammer, spear, mace, quarterstaff, sling? Hmm. 
Okay, cool. Let's keep let's keep his mace for now. We can sell that. Ooh. Okay, we need to take care. We need to take care of the scrolls at some point, yes. but not now. I want to keep going and get to what is it? This one the, take the rich girl's fortress or whatever. We need to make that money. <laughs> well, you know the sale prices. That's true. <laughs> Town crier says, "Hear ye, hear ye." If it must be done. More Tethrian exiles landing in Athkatla! Hear ye, hear ye! Expelled for familial misdeeds! Oh, shudder to think of all the red ink! He rhymed! Exiles, what's this all about then? The year of the tankard! Has been a tough one for the rich and pampered trying to grind out a living on the backs of the poor down south. Cheers to the year of the tankard! <laughs> Noses are akimbo about Matt. Maztican gold falling into chubby fingers while Ryatavin and Trailstone are left reading from the wrong books and the dogleg ledgers. I have no idea what any of that meant. Judgment was swift on the deserving and bags packed double time. Good riddance, the natives wailed from ramparts high. Every morning I'm here, keeping the faith, protecting the righteous, and crucifying the guilty. Drop by to gnaw the fat and feast on the foolish. <laughs> okay, I will. Thank you. Speak. Quick save. Whew. It will be done. Of course. Yeah, of course. Go for it, Aster. Thanks for asking permission. I don't. Oh. The year of anchor the tankard, indeed. Yeah, I don't always respond to DM, so don't be offended if I don't respond. But thank you for asking, and I will keep my eye out for it. Soldier says, "Hold, traveler. What is your business here in Athkatla?" Um. I've been here. Oh, oh, they're not talking to us. They're talking to Bandon. I'm a simple merchant. I deal in spices and silks. Spices? Is that a fact? Stand and deliver whilst I search you. Now really, there's no cause for that. Good night, Bula! Take care! Yes! See you tomorrow for KOTOR if you're around. No pressure. So good to see you. Sleep well. No, really. There's no cause for that. I think there is. Here, then. Is this some of your spices? Why, yes. Yes, they are. Though if you were to think them suspect, would a few gold in a sample turn your eye? A few gold, you say? Hmm, I don't know. I think you'll find my spices well worth it. It is especially difficult to acquire lotus petals of such a dark hue, almost black. You've a deal. On your way, then. Thank you very much, good sir. Ooh, bribery. Okay, hopefully we can get out of here. How do I get out of here? Wait, yay! To Darnese Hold! We've been waylaid! Hold, boys! Intruders are upon us! Kill them all, for you well know that we must leave no witnesses! Oh gosh. What are you doing? Okay, now we're, the, we're outside the city. Maybe we can use our spells. Let's give it a try. Call lightning. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, she has so many spells. I don't even know what to do. I'm just gonna let them go. AI, do your thing. Gosh. Okay, we're doing okay. Come on, take out this mage. Come on, Amira. What is it? Yeah. Renfeld, help! Help me, please. Who are you? What happened? My name's Renfeld. I've been poisoned. I beg you to take me to friends. They have a building not far away from here. Please, I beg you. Oh gosh. Where exactly is this place? It's a large building. A large orange building in the southwest part of the docks district. 
There will be a man guarding the door. His name is Rylock. Please take me to him. We can try to heal you magically if you wish. It is no use, I'm afraid. I've already attempted to neutralize the poison inside me. I don't know what's been done to me. Please, I must go to my friends. Very well, I'll take you now. Thank you. I do not have long to live. You must take me there quickly. Oh, take me to Rylock. Oh dear. Oh no, is it a timed quest? <laughs> Poisoned and dying. The tragedy of it sings in my skull. We must hurry and deliver this man to save Harbor Amira. We've gained an item. Renfeld's body. Tudor Parker, the Devil's Lotus. <laughs> Indeed. Was that what the thing that the drug dealer was selling? <laughs> Anaman says, The fool is probably drunk and not even dying, Amira. Why must you concern yourself with every delinquent we come across? Ugh. Do as you wish if it concerns you so much. Wait, what? I thought that you were all good and stuff, Anaman. I'm confused. Bring the poisoned man to his friends in the southwest part of the docks district. Okay, we, we better go back. Yes? Oh. Uh, Direct me as you will. I knew it was too good to be true getting out of the city so quickly. I can hold no more. Now, what is it? It will be done. Okay. I guess we're gonna go back to the city. <laughs> back from whence we came. Demigod adventurer, now glorified ambulance. <laughs> Exactly. Can't they hire someone else less important for this? Goodness. Let's go to the docks then. Display my skill and expertise. Yoshimo has something to say. Ah, perhaps this is a good time to tell you something. Amira, seeing as you are leading us into the docks and everything. Oh no. This is Shadow Thief territory, which I have had a couple of run-ins with over the past few months. They don't tend to appreciate independent operators like myself. So the last time they caught me operating the city, I was told either to report to the head of the guild in the docks, Renal Bloodscalp, or suffer the consequences. Seems that Renal needs an outsider to deal with the problem and was willing to trade my punishment by the guild for a service. Failure to go to him might be a bit... messy. Now, I'm pretty safe with you, I think, but it's up to you. If we go and see Renal, we might be able to talk to him and talk him into a reward, and it'll avoid complications later on. What do you think, Amira? I don't want to cause any problems here. Just wanted to bring this up, both to warn you and perhaps mention a possible opportunity for us both. Very well. Perhaps we should go and talk to this Renal. Whenever is convenient. The guild headquarters is here in the docks and shouldn't be too difficult to find. I just hope they let us in without uh, problems. Interesting. Okay, we need to bring this person's body to the friends first. The southwest part of the docks. Ooh, a tavern, you say? Maybe it's this area. Let's just let's just Certainly. click here and see if we can make yes. it there without getting waylaid. Uh oh, I don't like that we're separating. Let's see how we do. Ah, I knew it. Helpful man says, Hello there, friend. Sorry if I disturbed your chain of thought, but you looked new to the city and I wondered if I might lend you a hand. I can take care of myself, thank you. Alright, I'll leave if you want. Just thought I'd welcome a stranger to the city. You take care and watch out for shadows and the guilds that fight them. Okay, thank you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that person. A mad cleric! Hey, I do your stuff. Wait, am I delayed? I feel like I'm seeing chats later about things. Hopefully it's not delayed. Okay, a mad cleric says, You! Bow, worm, and pray that Sirik allows you to become one of his holy worshippers. Cast aside whatever false god you pray to and embrace the prince of lies in all his majesty. I'll not convert to Sirik's worship or do anything else you ask. And suffer cruelly as one of Sirik's chosen victims. Ah! Okay. What is it? 
Come on. Woo, got him. Without doubt. He didn't have any loot either. Wow. But we got 750 XP. Okay, two seconds. Okay, good, good, good. Is this the place where we need to take the body? Sailor. <gasps> Eichert? No. What was his friend's name again? Rylock! Hello! What can it be now? Yes? Is there some. Renfeld! By Tamora! Thank you for bringing him to us! We were beginning to worry! It's not a problem. Glad to be of service. I'm just your average ambulance. You yeah. know? He's sick? I shall bring him inside immediately. Thank you, friend, for doing this. We are most grateful. Here's a small reward for your troubles. We gained 14,000 experience! And 200 gold! Tea with evil and decay. Let's give it a good shake and see what falls out! Okay, Minsk. I wonder how our reputation... Oh, it's average. Okay. Yay! We did it! Okay, I'm going to save. Hard save. Ambulance duties. Okay, save was successful! Yay! Okay! I'm going to end stream here, friends. This was so much fun. Thank you so much for joining. It's always just such a pleasure to hang out with all of you at the tavern. I appreciate you all so much.